Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we got a box in from China. So, the big question is, what's in the box? So, let's take a look. So, small box. Ooh, this is interesting. So, I've ordered this a while back. What this is, and I'll have a link to this below, is this is the Q100 um, brushed frame uh, made by King Kong. So this comes as a sort of a kit. Now they have the kit and I didn't buy the complete kit. So let's talk a little bit about what I did get. So I got the frame. I got the yellow. As you guys have figured out, I like yellow. I've got a couple set of props. Two sets of props it looks like. So that's a good thing. So we got two sets of props and then we got the motors. So these are brushed motors and uh, I didn't get the flight controller or anything like that. But before I get into that, let's go ahead and let's take a look at this guy. Let's uh, let's pop him out. Whoops, throwing stuff around here on the bench. Let's pop him out of the package and talk about this. Now, I have to admit, in full disclosure, this is a little bit tinier than I thought. I had uh, I was browsing the internet one night and I came up with an idea. And it still might work. I don't know. But... Uh, uh, I figured I'd share this with you guys, so if you're having the same type of brain thinking, whatever, that I sort of had one late night when I bought this, um, you kind of know what the size is. So, again, in the pictures, it looks a lot bigger, sort of like your rearview mirror, you know, and it says objects in the rearview mirror can look further than what they are, something like that. This is definitely a bit smaller, so I want to take a, take a quick measurement here. So, this guy is about... 100 millimeters long and has sort of a motor to motor separation of about uh, 80 millimeters millimeters wide the body itself is about ooh, 25 millimeters and this is what I'm a little bit concerned about now it comes with this neat little cowl that pops on here and it's meant to be a, a tiny racer now if this doesn't work out to be uh, what I intend it for, uh, I think I'm actually by the flight controller. The flight controller is like about 20 bucks, just solders on. I've got a ton of the little batteries, 3.7 volt batteries, which power it from the SEMA X5 that I can use. Uh, because what happens, the battery either goes down around the bottom, and you see here you got some um, uh, kind of like rubber banding strips, and then obviously the motors sit in here and they're really, really like a friction fit. Uh, and then obviously a small 25 milliwatt FPV camera goes in here. Now, I looked at the general reviews for this online and they appear to be um, uh, pretty good. And so, what was my idea? You're saying with the middle of one night when I press the eBay buy button and, and purchase this guy? Well, it really comes back to this guy. So I had the, the idea, I like the electronics inside this, and my idea was to take it out of the case, the electronics out of this kind of hokey-ass Maverick clone case, because there can't be too much in here, and put them in here. Now, I had thought, let's do a little bit of a comparison here, size-wise. And so, obviously, a lot smaller than uh, this. I had thought this was a little bit bigger. Uh, you know, obviously not quite as big as this guy. And the one thing is, I thought, you know, about putting its electronics package in here. Now, if this doesn't work out, I think what I'm going to do is take these motors and 3D print uh, a base to hold them. There's Because these are rather common. I forget the number on these motors. And see about having this unit power it because the, the battery voltage and everything's about the same. So I think, don't quote me on this yet, that this, this could handle it. I'm going to do another video where I disassemble this and we'll see what's inside. Uh, because again, the battery, um, you can kind of see in here that the electronics are, you know, only run in this middle piece right here. I don't know if you can kind of see that. And so, and this is kind of what got me thinking, is the electronics should be pretty close. Now, obviously this has an integrated receiver and everything else in it. And then it just plugs in by this JT type connector into the power supply down there. So I could just solder in a, you know, JT lead, connector lead on there. And you can see the kind of the motor wirings. And that's about all that's in here. And so I thought well, this would be crazy cool to shed all this weight and then put all that inside this guy and then use one of these batteries to power it. And that'd, that'd be a wicked fast little FPV machine. And then again, this has got a camera and everything. 
And I'm sure those electronics sit up here and it's just a small camera pretty much like this uses anyway. Uh, the question is going to be, can I fit all this on here? And the answer might be yes. I'm not sure. Uh, because you see it's about the same width. So we measured that at 25. And the inside belly of this, if I slip, flip back over to metric, is about 20. So again, I've got eh, really close to 22, 23. So it's going to be a tight fit, but we might be able to make it work. And maybe what we'll have to do is remove the cowling or do some modifications to this to, to make it all fit. But we might give it a shot. I think this would be a, a great summertime fun project. So anyways, um, that was my, you know, midnight ordering madness, if you will, to come up with a solution. Now, this wasn't very much. I think this whole thing was like 14 bucks. So... Uh, not a huge amount of money, and I think it'd be a lot of fun to play with. So look for a video of me taking this apart uh, in the very near future, probably. Um, I, I, what I'm trying to do is th do an every other day sort of, re you know, uh, I don't want to call it series, but where I take something apart, do something, then kind of interlace some flight videos and other videos in between those. Um, because for the summertime, I'm going to try to put out a video roughly a day. I'm going to try, not promising, but I really am going to try to keep to my every other day schedule. So anyways, uh, I rambled enough about that. So look forward to me taking this guy apart in a future video and then I'll do another video on trying to assemble it on this guy or I'm just going to order the controller and build this guy and solder the controller because all you do is have to solder these motors the battery lead and the camera and you're good you're good to go so because I think this would be really fun I've been uh, sort of ODing a little bit on uh, you know Mr. Steel and Rotor Riot a little bit and just really envious of some of the videos that they've been capturing and this is video drone isn't it so um, kind of want to mess around with a little bit of this stuff so hey give it a thumbs up i am uh subscribe button coming over there comments below let me know what you think have you built one of these uh let me know what you think uh is there something else i should do with this guy let me know what you think comments below cheers